Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 13th of 2024 is titled the Seagull Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, what might look like a great bird in space with its giant wings outstretched is actually an example of an emission nebula. Now, where is this in the sky? Well, we're actually looking toward the direction of Sirius, the bright star in Canis Major or the large dog. Now, it's not Sirius is not pictured in this image and would be very bright, being the brightest of the stars in the night sky. However, we can see this region because it's around our Milky Way has a lot of nebulae like this. And the emission nebulae like this are caused by hydrogen gas. Now hydrogen is the most common element in the universe by far, with about 90% of the atoms in the universe being hydrogen. And so they're very common. And we see that here because when hydrogen is excited, it glows red. So when we see this reddish glow that is associated with hydrogen gas. Now it glows because it is excited by ultraviolet radiation. A hydrogen atom consists of a proton orbited by an electron. It's a very simple atom. And that electron is bound to the uh, proton. However, energy can make and remove it or ionize the atom. And it takes a certain amount of energy to do to do this. And that's generally a, a certain amount of ultraviolet light. So once it does that, the electron gets ripped off of the uh, atom and it will then recombine another electron or will recombine with that proton and as it does it gives off various wavelengths of light as it recombines and for hydrogen that is prime prominently in the red part of the spectrum so we see this again associated with star forming regions such as the region around the seagull nebula now within this region a new star cluster is in the process of formation and that's what happens here. You don't form stars one at a time. They tend to form in clusters. And likely our own sun was something was a part of something like this many billions of years ago as it was forming. So it formed with a lots of neighbor stars and they slowly spread out into space. This is what we call an open star cluster. There's simply not enough mass there for it to be bound together gravitationally. And therefore, those stars will slowly spread out. But when they initially form, we see them here within the central portions of this cluster as they begin to eat away at the material within it. So those stars, as they form, not only excite the hydrogen gas, but also eat away at the material and leave behind eventually just a cluster of stars. However, we could be waiting a couple hundred thousand or million years for this to actually happen. Star formation is a relatively quick process, astronomically speaking. But to us here on Earth, when we're used to thinking about things in years, this nebula will not change over just a few years, but will take a hundred thousand years to change very much. So that was our picture of the day for March 13th of 2024. It was titled the Seagull Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.